Alright guys, how you lot doing? Hope you're all well. So um, I'm hoping over the next like 20 videos to purchase a whole bunch of components uh, that I use at work and I will be using in my career as a control engineer. Unfortunately, this industrial equipment is bloody expensive. Like this is a, you know, so to speak, a basic CPU, but it cost me 150 pounds. So I'm going to use a fair chunk of my salary over the next, you know, few months next like 20 videos maybe the next year and i'm just gonna buy as much of this stuff as i can i'm gonna try and integrate them into a project whereby i can learn an absolute bunch so to tell you the reason why i'm doing this uh i've been scared to post anything recently mostly because i kind of just feel incompetent in all of this stuff and you know this is why i use it works so this is a plc a programmable programmable logic controller as i'm going through my day I'm just like, damn, I don't know that. Damn, I don't know what that means. Damn, I don't know that. And I constantly just feel incompetent and I feel the need to just spend all my time studying. And that means I'm not putting out videos for you guys, which uh, sucks, you know. And so the thing is, I also didn't know the direction I wanted to go with for my channel. Like, I don't know if I should be plowing forward with this control engineering stuff or if I should go back to what I was doing at university and go more into the electronic side of things with all of the various different ICs, you know, microcontrollers, that I was very torn. Like, I want to go through all of my stuff that I was doing for my final year project in university. I want to do that. I do. But at the same time, that's a lot of time investment for me, which, although it would benefit my career in the long run, it doesn't necessarily benefit me in the short term, and I need to spend the time learning stuff in the short term. So I've decided to press forward with this channel in terms of control engineering and almost close the door slightly on the electronics side previously which is a shame really but i think if i can afford it which hopefully i like, get some salary increases <laughs> if i can afford it if i can build some cool projects and purchase this kind of stuff um also the software is expensive as well but if i can keep buying this kind of stuff and build an amazing project then you know i think we're going to get some really amazing videos like over the next 20 20 videos or so so what i'm thinking of doing is i'm thinking of making like a hydraulic or pneumatic system so hydraulic using liquid water or oil um, and pneumatic using air um, and one of the things i'm thinking of doing is for example this nice aloe vera plant i've got here so i've got a dehumidifier about five four three meters that way four meters that way five meters five meters five meters that way and it's high up so that fills up like every maybe like four or five days and what i'm thinking of doing is having that that when that so it's, a, it's got a water tank in it right so when that water tank fills up to the top it triggers a limit switch which this thing detects and then activates a valve opens a valve perhaps turns on a pump and then pump the water from the dehumidifier into my plant and water my plant for me so those are the kind of projects that i'm thinking about doing basically and another key thing for me which i'm really excited about in terms of automation um, and industry 4.0 iot that kind of stuff is i want to figure out how i can interface the real world data and use it in the cloud use it on the internet online in digital world in simulations uh in terms of data collection you know node reg javascript all that kind of stuff so you know mq mqtt brokerage and just tech like you know the iot stuff so i'm gonna try and integrate all of these things over the next you know many many videos so that's the plan moving forward and i think i'm confident and comfortable now moving forward with the fact that this channel i still get to be almost a student and a learner because one thing i didn't want is that i graduate and now i'm an electrical engineer and now i'm teaching you guys how to do stuff i don't like i didn't I, i'm not i'm not a fan of being a teacher I'd rather be the student and show you what I'm working on. So that's the plan. I want to be the student. I want to show you what I'm working on. And so if you're interested in learning control engineering and automation and PLCs, data collection, all that kind of stuff, stick around, subscribe. And yeah, in my next video, I'll be talking about this. This is my first purchase as part of my project. A Siemens Somatic S7 1200 PLC. Great little thing. I mean, this thing is, this thing is incredible to be honest with you. So yeah. That's what we'll do in the next video. Stay tuned.